Look at her. Look at her, mama, man. Look at her. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another makeup look. Today's video is a get ready with me for a date makeup edition. So I created this makeup look with no eyeliner. We're focusing on kind of sultry browns. So the blush is kind of more neutral. We got a really chiseled contour look, some shimmers on the eyes to be extra flirty. I'm really focusing on having a hairy brow look and wispy eyelashes. That's why we've got a lot of mascara and falsies on some berry lips. And I think that this is the perfect look for a date night. This video is kindly sponsored by Yes Style. You guys have seen me working with them before. I've been shopping on Yes Style since before I even started using social media because they just had everything Asian beauty related. So they have Asian makeup, all the Asian skincare. They even have a lot of fashion on their website. I'm using a lot of viral Asian makeup today. A lot of it is from YesStyle and everything will be linked down in the description bar below. So make sure you check that out. And yeah, I think that's everything I had to say. Um, let's jump right into the video. First of all, look how cute this top is. This top is from IMG and it's literally just so cute and perfect for a date. I already have my skincare on. You guys have seen me do my skincare so many times. So you already know kind of what products that I've used. I'm going to leave that part out of this video because today is about the makeup. So I have undergone my second session of eyebrow tattoo removal, which is why it looks a lot better than it did in that one orange eyebrow video. I've been really liking playing around with soap brows or gelled eyebrows. And so we're gonna be doing that today. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to wipe off the skincare on my brow because the gel just doesn't apply as well when I have skincare on there it kind of messes with the consistency and it doesn't like super glue my brow the way I want it to you know I'm going to be using the got to be glued spiking glue you gotta make sure you get the yellow bottle because this one is the best this sticks my brows better than any eyebrow gel that I've used I think because my brow hairs are like really thick and stubborn so like normal eyebrow gels just don't work on me I mean, they work, but not if I want it to be like super glued, you know? So I'm just like taking that in my fingers and I just spread a fair amount into my eyebrows. I also use quite a bit of this. Sometimes I use too much and it really like interferes with my foundations. It's a learning process for me, to be honest. I will kind of wipe off the excess. The tool I'm going to be using to kind of lay them down is the Refi Brow Gel Brush that it comes with. This works better than a spoolie in my opinion. And I kind of just brush my hairs upward at an angle like this. And the front pieces, I just like brush them kind of in slash upward like that. Reducing to my other eyebrow. I've been getting so many compliments on my new brows. Like whenever I soap them, I get so many compliments in real life and on my stories. You guys loved it when I did like the new eyebrow reveal. So. I'm like so happy about that because I was really excited to get the tattoo removed, not gonna lie, so that I could try different bra styles. Some girls look so good with their eyebrows just like this, but I look absolutely insane. So what I do is I just take the, I'm gonna clean this brush off a bit, taking that same brush and I'm just going to go on top. Like that, you see that? And I just flatten the top part. And it just really cleans up the whole eyebrow. Yeah, you kind of have to play around with it for a little bit. I've also been using castor oil on my eyebrows. I feel like it has helped to make them longer and thicker. I mean, I don't remember my brows being this thick. You guys, I swear my vision is getting worse and worse because of my astigmatism. I feel like I'm gonna have to start wearing contacts when I'm doing my makeup. Otherwise, I'll have to be standing like right in front of the mirror because I can like barely see what I'm doing. So yeah, that's what that looks like. And then what I like to do is I like to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze and then I just take a little bit on my finger and put that over top of the brow to really secure the style. Oh my god, did I forget to mention I'm in Singapore right now? But yeah, keep your eyes peeled for the Singapore vlog. Um, I'm actually here with Revolve, which is so exciting, you guys. It's literally crazy because I've been working with Revolve for forever and I always see them do the Revolve around the world. Finally, I'm on one and 
it's just absolutely crazy and unreal and you guys are the reason for all of this thank you so much for all the opportunities that you guys give me it's actually crazy to me that i'm here right now honestly singapore is even more beautiful than what i expected and i already knew that like i mean this city is gorgeous it's even prettier than what i imagined the architecture here is absolutely insane like they have new buildings and kind of old money vibe buildings and it's just so stunning it's absolutely gorgeous and perfect i'm like so happy to be here all right moving on to the makeup to finish up my eyebrows i'm gonna go in with this super super fine eyebrow pencil this is the romand han all sharp brow do you see how fine of a tip that is and then i just go in and like fill in any sparse areas and i just love the precision that you can get when you use a super fine eyebrow pencil like this so for the base makeup today, I'm using my Nombuzin Porcelain Base Skip Tone of Beige. You guys know I love Nombuzin. Literally every single product I've tried from them is absolutely phenomenal. This is kind of like a tinted sunscreen, so it'll even up and like tone your skin. So I just like take this and put it on my face like that. I don't mind using a heavier amount of this because it is so light and all it does is tone up your skin. I just look how I love because I love so i know it's a little bit light for my skin okay guys that's because i'm a little bit fake tan also i spent the day at the pool yesterday so i might have a bit of a real tan i'm gonna fix that with bronzer later on so no worries there but as you can see like the tone up cream just kind of evens out my skin tone but it's not heavy looking at all it's nice and dewy and glowy and natural so i love that Next for concealer, I'm using this pot concealer from the same. This is their Cover Perfection Concealer. Mine is in the shade 01. And it kind of just looks like this. And then I just dip my brush in there. Do something like that. And then go underneath my eyes and start concealing any darkness or redness on my face. You know the drill. A little bit on my forehead. I mainly focus all of my concealer in my T-zone area and underneath my eyes. And then the rest of my face, I'll kind of let like my freckles or spots underneath show through because I don't really care if those areas don't look flawless. And this concealer just sits so nicely on top of that tinted sunscreen we used. Like my skin just looks like skin. I literally have, okay, let me show you guys real quick what I use to prep my skin. So I do have like some serum and moisturizer on, obviously, and then I go on top with my Jinsen Moist Sun Serum from Beauty of Joseon. On top of that, I go in with their sunscreen, and then together, they're both SPF 50. And then I go on top of that with my Nobuzin, the tinted sunscreen, which is also SPF 50. So we are well protected from the sun. I'm very serious about my SPF, you guys know this, so gotta make sure the protection is well layered, all right? So for my blush, I'm actually gonna be using the Ink the Velvet Lip Tint from Peripera. This one is in the shade 30. It's like a nude color, and I've kind of been into nude blushes lately. You see that? It's like literally brown. I saw a girl on TikTok, I think, or maybe it was on Instagram, but she was using a brown blush and it blew my mind because it looked so good. Since I'm wearing a brown shirt today, I thought brown blush would just work, you know? You get the vibes. And then for my blush on my nose, I kind of just spread it with my fingers. I think I'm actually going to add a little bit on my forehead as well. Maybe a bit on my chin. I don't know. Because I feel like if you're being sun-kissed, then it will kind of just hit all the high points of your face. So if that's like the look you're going for, then you would apply the blush on like all those areas. Does that make sense? For cream contour, I'm using my Rare Beauty Cream Contour Stick. I got this during the Sephora sale and I'm very happy with it. So you'll see, this is how I apply my cream contour. Just trust the process. So 
So to set my face, I'm going to be using my Skin Food Pore Blur Pack. I used this in a previous video before, but you can also get it on Yes Style. And you guys saw in that video, I mean, this thing just completely airbrushes your face. And it literally smells like peaches. Oh, it smells so good. So I just take that and then I press it into my skin. And I love this because it never kicks up my makeup. Even if the products I'm using are so like dewy, it doesn't cake or gather with the powder, which I really like. Hopefully you guys can see when I'm like really up close that the powder is just so fine that it fully airbrushes your makeup. It looks so good. You guys know that I love my cool tone bronzers. I've been using this Peri Para V shading bronzer for like literally ages. I think you guys have seen it probably like five to 10 times. <laughs> but I got myself a new cool tone bronzer. This one is pretty iconic. You've probably seen other YouTubers using this. This is the Too Cool for School Art Class Bronzer. And it's a powder bronzer. It's got three shades here. And I just kind of take my fan brush. It's like a fluffy fan brush. This one is from Quo. And I just like go like that. Really define that cheekbone. That way your date will think you are super sculpted and snatched. Contour the jawline a little bit. My date can be mesmerized by that side profile. And then I do like to contour my temple area and my forehead because my forehead is like literally massive. You guys already know that because some of you like to comment on it. But you're not wrong, so it's fine. Taking a fluffy flat top brush. This one is from e.l.f. I've been using it for like a decade. And I'm just blending out that bronzer because we do not want any harsh lines. And you want to use a really light hand when you're blending out your bronzer, otherwise it will kind of make it look muddy. And I do like to blend it kind of in like an upward motion. I don't really like to drag my bronzer downward. Okay, so this is how much I'm going to- oh my god, why does it look so crazy on camera? Okay, I don't know if it's looking crazy on camera, but I swear in real life, guys, it looks well blended up. Okay? Alright, so for me personally, I do like to use some bronzer on my eyelids, always. And this will either be the one eyeshadow that we use for the day, or just like a base shade. Pinching the brush and applying that underneath my eyes. And then while we're here, we're going to use the same bronzer to contour our nose because it is cool tone, so it works for all the contour. And I never ever contour my nose with a warm tone bronzer because that just, it looks super silly on me. I recently actually dissolved my old nose filler, waited a week, and then added new nose filler because nose filler is known to migrate 70% of the time. And it kind of will migrate in a way that makes your nose look super wide. For a while, I was looking at my nose like, I don't remember my nose being so wide. And I know that noses get bigger with time, like as you age. So I was like, maybe it's just because I'm like getting older. So my nose is like naturally widening, but no, it was just the nose filler migration. So yeah, I'm glad I got that dissolved. And then I put in a new, I think we only use like, 0.25 syringes and I feel like soon I'm going to be making a video about all the work I've had done plastic surgeries fillers Botox because we need to like clear the air here because I think some people on the internet think I literally have like everything done and I will say I have a lot done anyways I think I will be making a video on that so you guys can kind of learn what I've had done what I would recommend you guys to get done, what I wouldn't recommend, my experience with everything. Okay, back to the makeup, back to the makeup. So for powder blush, I use like the nude cream blush. So I'm gonna go on top with my Lily by Red Love Beam Blur Cheek in the shade 04. And as you can see, it's kind of like a nudish pink. I would say it's like more nude than it is pink. It looks like this, almost like a peachy nude. And then I'm just gonna go on top of my cream blush with this. And I love this shade, it's like super natural looking. I do actually like to take my finger into my blush and then I'll kind of just go right here on my nose and almost go over my nose contour with my blush shade and it really helps to, I don't know, emphasize that contour almost. This blush is like so cute. 
I love having this in my makeup bag. I have a pink makeup bag and I have a lot of pink makeup in there. And having heart-shaped makeup is just, it's just so cute. It makes me so happy. I wasn't actually sure what I wanted to do with my eyes. I'm still not sure. All I know is I want to have some glitter and some shine in there. And I have a lot of glittery products to choose from today. I'll just like show you what they are. This one is an eyeliner glitter from Lily by Red. Their Starry Eyes Liquid Glitter. This one is a liquid glitter from 3CE. And this one is more like a white glitter, whereas this one is more of a champagne. And then this one is like a deeper copper glitter, also from 3CE. And then I have this like pearl eyeshadow stick. I love eyeshadow sticks, okay? I think I'm gonna go in with this first because pearly eyeshadow sticks always give you so much dimension on the eyes. It's so cute. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with this first. So this is the Caradium Shining Pearl Shadow Stick. <laughs> Blending that out with my fingers and it just gives my eyelid like the cutest little sheen. You see that? I've been really into having a shinier eyelid lately because I feel like it just makes you look so much more like, I don't know, awake, if that makes sense. I'll put that in my inner corner as well. So a lot of the makeup I'm using today from YesStyle are viral makeup products. And especially I'm excited for this one brand called Flower Nose. I've seen this brand all over TikTok. Everybody is just raving about it because the packaging is so stunning. I have three items from them here and just look how beautiful they are. Like it's actually kind of insane how intricate and just stunning their packaging is. Like look at this blush. It is just so stunning. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go on top of my other blush with this blush as well because there's no hurt in layering your blush a little bit. This is a baby pink blush. You see this? There's like a little swan on the blush. Ugh, it's just so cute. I'm on top of my previous blush. I have to use something from this eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? Are you kidding right now? I do want to match my makeup to my top, so yeah, I'm going to be using this brown shadow right here. Oh, that looks very pretty with the pearly color we had earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, big fluffy brush and blend. So since we're going for a more warm color palette, I'm going to be using this Champagne Lily by Red Eye Glitter. I love adding glitter for a date especially because it just adds like that shimmery romance to the eyes. But this is what the brush tip looks like. And then I'm just gonna... I really hope you can see this because it is so glittery. This eye is definitely popping compared to this one. So that's what that looks like. So another viral product, this one is the Judy Doll Highlighting Powder. I think this is a Chinese brand. Yeah, it is. But it's just like this donut shaped packaging, which is so cute. And then the highlighter is like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some shimmer to the top part of my eyes, just over that brown eyeshadow. Can you see how this is like a crystal shimmer? And then I'll just pop that right onto my eyelid. This kind of reminds me of like a pearly white version of the Urban Decay eyeshadow. Like Space Cowboy, I think is what it's called. Heating up my lash color with my hands a little bit. This one is from Shiseido. So as you can see, I did curl my top and my bottom lashes because I really want to have that like hairy look, especially to go with my eyebrows. Because obviously my eyebrows are not like a powder brow anymore. They're more like a hairy brow. Okay, so this is the Curling Iron Mascara in the 01 Black color. And this one is a viral mascara again on TikTok. And this is what the wand looks like. Like it is so different. It's nothing like anything I've ever tried before. It's a metal wand. And then it's just got these like, can you see that? It's just got these metal ridges, and inside the ridges, that's where the product sits. So I'm just going to apply a light coat of mascara. I don't really care too much about my top lashes, because I'm going to be going on top of that with my falsies anyway. So 
So we're doing the before and after comparison on my bottom lashes because like I said, I'm not gonna be putting too much work into my top lashes. Can you see that? It just really emphasizes those hairs and it's not clumpy, it just looks so good. Yeah, this mascara really does the job. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye. So that is the bottom lashes done. I'm gonna apply my falsies, but before we do that, I'm gonna align my upper lash line with some black eyeliner. And you guys know me, I do like to use a liquid liner on my waterline because I feel like they just don't budge at all and they're like super, super black, which I love. And the one I'm using today is the Kill Black Super Proof Brush Liner from the brand Clio. It's like a sharp felt tip liner and this is also a viral product. I think it went viral for the fact that it's like so fine and precise and you can really make a sharp wing with it. We're not going to be doing that today but I am going to be lining my waterline with it and that precision is really helpful for that too. So for lashes today, I'm going to be using my Dollar Lash Club Lexi Lashes. And since we're going for that lashy lash look that I was talking about, I am going to be curling them with my curler before I apply them. I do find that curling your falsies would obviously make them stick up a little bit more, but it also makes them a little bit fluffier for whatever reason. Always make sure your lash glue is as tacky as possible, obviously not dry but you want it to be pretty tacky so that you have a way easier time putting them on. If the glue is not dry enough, then it's just gonna be slipping and sliding everywhere. So that's how it looks with the lashes on. I just love putting on falsies. It really ties the whole look together, but I'm gonna go in actually to create some fake freckles because I think that fake freckles also look really good with that lashy lash look and the hairy brows. What I like to do is I'm gonna take a really thin angled brush, dip that in some of my brown shadow, and I'm just gonna lightly dab some dots on my face like this. And then once I have it on there, I just use my fingers and I tap that out. Hopefully that shows up on camera. But yeah, this is a very easy way to apply fake freckles. And I would say that eyeshadow is a lot more forgiving than like a freckle pen or if you're using like an eyeliner or a brow pen. And for freckles, you really want to make sure that the placement is random and it looks a little bit more natural if there's kind of a little bit of dimension. So what that means is like some of the freckles should be a little bit darker than others because that's just how natural freckles are. Definitely don't forget to put some freckles on your nose as well. Alright, can you see that? Okay, so last but not least, we're going to move on to our lips. Today I'm going to be using my good old NYX New Truffle Lip Liner. Are you guys tired of seeing this yet? I'm so sorry if you are because I probably will never stop using this. So I'm going to line my lips with this liner first. And I'll kind of just like start blending that in a little bit with the liner itself. We're doing a little bit of a gradient lip today. I'm gonna to go into the center part and add a little bit of a berry shade. Just to be a little bit flirty for the day, you know? This one is the Lily by Red liquid lipstick in the shade 03. Just kind of like this berry shade and I'm gonna pop it right here, just like that. And then blend that in to the lip liner. I feel like berries and reds are so cute for dates. Having it blending in with that lip liner just makes it a lot more wearable and not too standout-ish, if that makes sense. Okay, so that is the completed look. That is it for today's makeup look. I love the way that it turned out. It's like sultry and flirty. The shimmers make your eyes pop. I love the fake freckles and overall I think it's a very very wearable perfect makeup look for date night. Thank you again so much to YesStyle for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out their website if you have anything you want that's related to Asian beauty, skincare, fashion. They're gonna have you covered. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!